Okay, the last time we flew, it was uh, it was really um, an introduction to the airplane, and today it's going to be more of an introduction to the avionics system. We're going to do a uh, an IFR flight. We've got the standby um, dyn-on flight display, two primary flight displays, and the multifunction display in the middle. The brain of the operation is this Avidyne IFD 550. And it feeds the information to the rest of the system. So this is this is really the uh, the, the the heart of the avionic system right here. Situational awareness that the uh, that the in co in cockpit weather and traffic provide is really astonishing. Weather tower, terminal two six zero, Mike Golf, ready for takeoff. Terminal two six zero, Mike Golf, Frederick Tower, runway three zero, cleared for takeoff. Okay, full power, airspeed's alive, 55 knots, let's raise the nose wheel, let it fly off. I'll go ahead and switch over to uh, nav, nav mode. This will intercept our, the course line and take us right to our first waypoint at 3,000 feet. So what it's going to do is it's going to intercept those boxes and fly right to Rome. Now the approach is loaded and activated, and you'll notice that it automatically loads the uh, the ILS frequency in the uh, in the nav radio, and it's it, it's activated. It's not standby, so it tunes and identifies the ILS. It automatically will switch, you know, the VOR localizer radio guidance. Instead of the uh, instead of the GPS guidance, you know, we've got a way to manually switch those. But right now, it's telling me that that it's it's GPS now. It's going to switch to uh, VLOC, VOR localizer, and uh, and it's going to do that by itself. We've got the uh, approach plate selected, and you can see us on on the plate, and we're about to uh, intercept the localizer and track that inbound. All right, so it's automatically switched over to green needles. So it's uh, the approach is loaded and activated, and we're um, we're about to start tracking the ILS down. Let's start slowing down the uh, the airspeed just a little bit. Autopilot disengage. Okay, so I'm going to hand fly this approach, and the way that they the hand flying is really. Uh, Kind of cheating in this airplane. It's like a video game. As long as you keep that uh, that flight path marker right in the middle of the boxes, the uh, needles will center and remain centered. Okay, coming up on my uh, decision height, about 150 feet. Now here I'm going from. I'm, I just kind of put that flight path marker on the runway threshold, and uh, as long as I hold it there, my uh, my other problems solve for themselves. Minimums. Minimums. Okay, so here we are, minimums. Uh, Pappy lights are red over white, just like we like to see. Um, and we're going to go ahead and, and uh, execute the missed approach. So there, it begins with a climb. So we'll climb to 1,300, then a left turn. And we'll, uh, we'll engage the autopilot again. 260 Mike Golf, left turn on approved to the east. Left turn to the east, 260 Mike Golf. Thanks for flying with us. I hope you enjoyed this, this uh, the presentation of this incredibly uh, powerful and helpful avionics system. And uh, can't wait till the next time we get to fly it in the clouds.